Hello, fellow makers. I'm Joe. And I'm Doug. And we are Bill Botics. Today we're meeting with Jim Barry and Mark Rose from the Robot Garden Makerspace in Livermore, California to show you how the BuildBotics controller can breathe new life into an old machine. On a recent visit to Robot Garden, we discovered they had an old CNC mill sitting in storage. Around this thing for like three years now and, and it was mostly a pile of junk that I was wishing I could get rid of. And then we were at the point of going, it's a waste of money, stop spending money on the thing. Let me go throw it in the, in the storage locker so I don't have to deal with it anymore. They previously made an attempt to upgrade the Dynamite 2400 using another controller, but ran into a lot of problems. They were delighted when we offered to revive their mill. Once we get it up and running, pilots at the Robot Garden Airport Makerspace should be able to use this mill to make aircraft parts. The original dyno was controlled through a touch panel and could accept up to 901 lines of proprietary code. The BuildBotics controller allows unlimited programming using standard G-code or JavaScript. The Dyna's high gear ratio presented the first challenge to retrofitting this machine. Before microstepping and high torque motors were commonplace, stepper motors had to be geared way down to make them accurate and powerful. This is one of the problems they ran into. They attempted to use Linux CNC, but the machine would only move very slowly. The Build Botics controller produces step pulses in excess of 200,000 per second, which easily meets the demands of the Dyna. In addition to the stepper motors, we were able to reuse the spindle, spindle driver, power supply, and limit switches. Besides the Build Botics controller and cabling system, two shelf brackets to mount the controller were all that was needed. This made the retrofit very economical. Finally, we connected the Build Botics controller to the network and plugged in a gamepad. We created a configuration file for the Dyna, which can easily be loaded into the BuildBotics controller with a few clicks. With the configuration file loaded, we set a name to differentiate the Dyna from the other machines on our network. Now it's ready to run. The limit switches allow the machine to find its home position. Now that the machine is set up, let's cut something. Here we've simulated a two-sided steel coin using the open source simulation software, Commodics. With our piece of steel screwed down to the cheater board, we zero the machine and run the facing operation to get a flat surface. Now we engrave the front side of the coin. The webcam feature is really nice. During a long cut, I can keep an eye on the machine in the garage while I watch the game in my living room. Time to turn it over. The holes we drilled earlier keep the part aligned. Now we run another facing operation and cut the back side. Finally, we are ready to cut out the coin. And here's the final part. Here it is. Yeah, the edge is, the edge is very, very nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. Robotics did a wonderful job of, of cleaning up the, the things that we weren't able to actually resolve or hadn't resolved uh, with motion of the axes and stuff. And so I thank you guys for all this effort and this beautiful work, and we hope to uh, make many, many more wonderful things with it. Today, we use the BuildBotics controller to transform a machine that was stuck in storage into a modern and open source CNC. The cost of the retrofit was minimal since very few additional parts were needed. This demonstrates how the Dyna and many other mothballed machines can be brought back to life using the BuildBotics controller. It's been a fun project. The Robot Garden is a fantastic makerspace and we're looking forward to working together in the future. Jim, Mark, thanks for giving us this opportunity and coming down here today. We've got some BuildBotics hats for you as a special thanks. So stay tuned for future videos and check out our Kickstarter where you can buy the BuildBotics CNC controller. Yeah. Yeah.